In this Vitaly review, I want to talk about how this software works and how it can help you rank uh, on YouTube for the keywords you're going after to help increase your views and uh, strengthen your channel. This is John with Online Verve. Thanks so much for watching. And I'm going to go over the software. I had always been a longtime user of Video Marketing Blaster uh, from the Blaster Suite guys but recently changed over to Vitaly. It's their online version, and I do like it much better, and so I want to go over this uh, overview with you on how it works. Now, when you purchase it, you really have three options. You have the basic version, which includes the keyword module video and the video details module. And for a lot of you, that, that's really probably all you'll need. However, if you are serious about really trying to um, increase your YouTube channel, then I would recommend getting the pro version, which includes niche analysis, which can be very helpful. I haven't used it really that much at all, but the thing I do love, it includes the rank tracker, so you can see how your videos are doing, and we'll go over all those. Uh, the other uh, option is the agency option. I'm not going to go over that since I don't own it, but essentially what it allows you to do is create reports uh, for a specific video on the strengths that the video has for ranking and the weaknesses and how you can change those weaknesses to strengthen the overall ranking ability of that video. So this is really, um, you can use this on your own videos, so it may be something to consider. Uh, however, uh, it's primarily focused on using this as a service that you would provide to other YouTube um, channels and users on how they could improve their videos. So when you first log into Vitaly, this is the, the overall dashboard, and it just gives you some kind of basic information at the top, but really where you want to jump in is the keyword research. So we'll go into that module. The layout, again, some uh, information up top here that'll populate once we start the research, and really this is where the meat of it is going to happen. This is where you enter your main keyword. You can choose where you want it to search, so, so different areas to um, of the world as well as different languages. And then after you search, you can save keywords down here to um, copy or export. And then also, where do you want to get um, the search information from? And so I typically just use YouTube, uh, competitors' videos, and Google, but you have these other options, Bing, Amazon, eBay, Pinterest, and Yahoo. So let's go ahead and let's um, why don't we try searching for, since we're talking about a YouTube ranking software, uh, Vitaly, why don't we search, um, use a keyword, YouTube ranking software. So let's give it a minute and you'll see what happens. It does kind of give you the progress right up here. And you can see it's going through Google, it's going through YouTube, it's going through uh, keyword, it's important the keyword statistics, it goes through competitors. And then once it finishes, what you're going to see up here, this is the interest over the past year for that keyword. And so obviously the higher this is, the more interest there is. And so you can see it's kind of varied quite a bit over the past year. But uh, just recently, um, in fact, the past couple of weeks, uh, it had a super high interest. And so that can just kind of give you a general interest. Uh, you know, a monthly search volume, about 1,100 searches a month. And if you made a video for this, you might get, it estimates you might get about 60 to 64 YouTube views per month. So these are some things that you can kind of take into account uh, as to whether you want to go after this keyword or not. So let's go down here. What it's going to do is it's going to give you the keyword it found. It's going, and um, these are all the different keywords that the software found. It's going to, the source, so these were competitors on YouTube. These came from Google, and this um, the information came off of YouTube. So this is probably one of the more important things to look at is recommended. So the higher the number, so 100 means that they would definitely the software would definitely recommend using this keyword. Now there are quite a few YouTube competitors, over six million competitors for this keyword, and it's got a fairly low search volume, uh, less than 100 searches per month. And so what you can do is you can go and look through some of these different keywords and try to find a balance where maybe there's not a lot of competition, but there's a decent amount of search volume. And so um, as you can see, 
not maybe not a lot of great options here um, although when you're first starting out sometimes it might be okay to go ahead against something with you know a lot of competitors even though maybe it's a low vol volume um, because it's going to help build your channel etc um, and also if you're optimizing your click-through rate potential then that can be another way to maximize this as well so for examples of this video let's say we're going to go ahead and just choose their number one recommendation best YouTube ranking software now you can get uh, competitor information uh, by clicking here you can export any keywords that you click uh, to like a text file etc you can copy them to your clipboard and then you can add them so if you add them that'll bring it down into this area in which case because if you have multiple or maybe you want to run another search you could save additional ones and then again you can copy export or clear these so again I'm just going to copy that because we're going to go after this keyword and then we're going to go into video details in this section what you would do is click on generate details and this is where you would uh, paste that keyword that we chose to go after um, you can select a niche um, usually I just leave it uh, as general if you're doing local uh, marketing for YouTube then you actually can click local and it'll give you very specific uh, market areas again I just leave it as um, general Oops, I think get back to that Oh, here we go sorry just get back to that um, and then what it's going to do is it's going to come up with a couple different title options and so you can choose which of these you want to work with so this is step one and then we're going to hit next and it's going to take us to keyword refinement leave the main keyword alone uh, but come down into the secondary keyword and they like you to uh, choose three secondary keywords okay so YouTube ranking software is probably a good one how to rank in YouTube is a good one. Best video, how to rank YouTube videos. So those are, let's check, choose those three. And that's going to take us to the last step um, here where it's going to generate. Now you can add some information here if you want. Uh, website, your YouTube link, social media, etc. But we're just going to go ahead and click generate. And are you sure? Yes. So it's going to now uh, generate. If we go back here, here it is. And if we click on it, it's going to generate uh, a video title, a video description, and video tags. And so at this point, you can simply, if you like this title, you can simply copy it. Oops, forgive me. Uh, copy that to your clipboard and just copy that into the title section of your YouTube video. Or you can edit it and change it if you'd like, as well as you can, if you don't, like this at all you can click regenerate and it'll come up with a, a new one uh, same thing in the description area you know the yellow the um, this kind of orangish pinkish red <laughs> I'm not sure what color that is uh, that is the you know uh, keyword that we're trying to go after and so you can see where they've placed these keywords uh, in the title in the description and in the tags now if you, you also the nice thing is it comes up with different suggested titles so say you don't like the title that, that they came up with you can go down and replace it with maybe one of these if you like it better same thing with sentences for your description box if you like one of these any of these you can add it uh, same thing with tags you can add any of those if you want to and so it really does a great job of coming up with um, nice SEO optimized video titles descriptions and tags that are then very easy to just add to your video when you upload it. Let's cover these last two areas. Uh, niche analysis. Again, I have not really used this, although uh, I probably should be using it more. So let's see what happens here when we type in our keyword. What it should do is it should uh, find competitor, competitor videos that are using that keyword and then show you why they're ranking. Um, I believe it's going to pull up uh, the top videos and you can open that and you know and see it on YouTube if you'd like um, you can see one these uh, you know what their SEO score so you can see this one has a lower SEO score it's in first position 
than this. This has a much better SEO score, 6 compared to 9, but there's probably some differences over here that um, this has better, yeah, so this uh, this video has much better stats, right? has a lot more views, way more comments, likes, and the channel is stronger as well. And so this really shows how the click-through rate, someone finding your video, clicking on it, and then taking action, viewing it, commenting, liking, sharing, etc., has, um, so even though they could really optimize this video much better from an, from an SEO standpoint, the strength that helps them rank number one for this keyword is um, that the interaction that they have, the click-through rate uh, analytics and statistics. And this is where, as a poorly SEO-optimized video and even a smaller channel, you could actually do better than a channel that has much more. So here's another example. Let's look at number three, because it's got a pretty similar SEO score, but even though it's got way more subscribers, this channel only has 200, this has 6,400 subscribers, this channel only has 64, 7,000 total views. This channel has 428,000 of views. So even though the channel is stronger, the video stats. And so this kind of gives you some insight into what YouTube, uh, the importance YouTube places on how it ranks videos. So two videos that are similar, similarly SEO optimized, one that is way better SEO optimized, but the interaction. So you can see YouTube really places a strong emphasis on, on video interaction, the, the views, the comments, the likes, the shares, etc. And then even if your channel is not as good as a stronger channel, um, it's the interaction that edges out and gives this a first place where this ends up in a third place. So uh, very interesting. This You can see this video is perfectly SEO optimized. However, you know, kind of poor interaction, fairly good channel strength, um, but it's the interaction that drops it. Um, so even though it's got the best SEO, way better, right? 10 compared to 6, the interaction is so much less. This has almost perfect interaction, score of 10. This has only an interaction score of 4. So this is the niche analysis. This is uh, actually pretty helpful, um, but that's what it does. And then the part I really love is the rank tracker. So you want to know how your videos are doing. And this is super easy to use. Um, it's as simple as in, um, click on add a video, put in the video URL, just type in the keyword that you want to uh, rank for. You can put one keyword per line if you want to try to you know track multiple. And then just say, what do you want to track? The YouTube rank, the Google rank. YouTube stats, how often you want that checked, and then just track my video. And so then what it'll do is it'll give you, you know, kind of a summary up here. So right now I have 15 total ranking videos in the top 40, um, averaging number 12 position uh, out of all my videos. Uh, if I was, I'm not really trying to rank in Google, but if you were over here, how many total views I have for this channel and the average views per video. So uh, and again, this is just one of you know many channels, obviously. But you can see that the you know here's the one metric that you probably really want to focus on your YouTube rank. So this is rank number six, number eleven. I uh, should have some down here, right? Number one, number one. Uh, but then it'll also give you how many views that has, whether that's up, that's down, likes, comments. Uh, so this information usually is pretty accurate, although sometimes not uh, completely accurate. But um, again, it gives you a really nice overview. So this is Vitaly. Um, I think it's a great software. I love that it's online, which makes it super easy to use. And it really is very powerful in helping you get SEO optimized, title, description, and tags, as well as helping you understand what do you need to improve. That's the niche analysis that can be great at, at showing you what you need to do to rank better. So I hope you like this video. If so, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more information. And if you want to uh, purchase Vitaly, you can click my link in the description box below, and I would appreciate that very much. Thanks for watching.